that oh. shows went live on. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, all right, got it. There we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is Indie Talk with Jesse and Jaron, and uh, I'll first take uh, have Jesse talk about this first. So we'll hand it over to Jesse first. So yeah. All right, guys. Um, I know you guys were probably expecting a uh, Kid Cash on tonight, but around five thirty tonight, me and Kid Cash had a conversation, and um, tonight we had to reschedule for Monday because he has some stuff that's coming up, and he's going to be out of state or something like that. I'm not too sure what the surroundings are but he did say Monday night he will be doing the show so just 72 hours you guys got away so if anybody has any questions or wants to have any questions answered please get them in no later than Sunday night so me and Jaron can go through them and kind of come up with a list i think that'd be i think that be a good idea to do so yeah because uh the other night we had had an issue with that one guy when stonehenge was come came on he kept asking about death matches and you could just tell that stone was getting a little irritated yeah <laughs> you, you know. could just sense he was getting irritated by it it's like okay and then yeah. he asked that death match question again. It's like, I'm not going to ask him that. If you want to ask him, you ask him. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was kind of weird. I don't, know. I mean, he, well, he definitely doesn't seem like he's a, a death match guy from what we heard. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, they, I don't even know who. I think the guy's name was Cody or something like that that was asking those questions. Cody, they were very good questions. It just, it's not Stonehenge's uh, kind of yeah. deal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I've never really seen him in death match matches mm -hmm. either. So. He just goes in there and starts clubbing people, like he says. So. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I thought he's going to start clubbing you. <laughs> then he was, yeah, then he was yeah. the camera. I'm like, hey, we didn't do nothing wrong to you. Just mm -hmm. had just had to calm him down a little bit and tell him we were part of the program, and he was all happy, just yeah. like a, just like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> oh yeah, I am definitely a part of the program, guys. Don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, don't no, don't worry. We'll we'll tell you anything you want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And for anybody out there that is a big uh, program fan, Kyle White Speed You Waters and Gummy Gushers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not sure what Nick likes. And if anybody is a big Stonehenge fan, he he likes tacos, Speed You Water, and Creed. <laughs> and, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But don't Fiji. ask him about Twister. <laughs> I want to ask him about Twister. Yep. Yeah, Imagine, your ear off. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine seeing the the program playing Twister together. <laughs> oh god. Well maybe maybe they'll uh instead of having that six man tag that uh Stonehenge wants, maybe the program will just challenge zero sympathy. To a game of Twister. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Game of Twister. <laughs> yeah, in the ring, game of Twister. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's see who wins. No referees, no nothing. No referee. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, just a freaking mm -hmm. game of Twister. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be pretty interesting. Yeah. This weekend will be pretty interesting when they have uh, the Nick Nelson Appreciation Night at oh, AWF. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, if anyone's going to that show, uh, 
be prepared for a half hour of nothing but Nick Nelson. <laughs> what did, how would they get a cover like more more than a few minutes of appreciation? Are they just gonna like start reading thank you cards or something? <laughs> thank you, Nick Nelson. <laughs> Champagne and I don't yeah. Uh, kaboos and whatever he, he said. Oh yeah, no, uh, Stonehead says they're drinking Fiji water. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, they'll drink Fiji water the entire time. Yeah, yeah. they'll probably take over the whole show. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it won't yeah. surprise it won't surprise me somehow if uh, PB Brown ends up getting in there and getting a TV title match and something should something will transpire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did happen to tell uh, PD that we did talk with Stonehenge, and uh, I uh, told PD that uh, Stonehenge told us that that he's the bully all this still, not Stonehenge. Yeah, PD mm. just laughed it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet he did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what was it? I uh, 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 yeah, Stonehenge did the. Pretty much the, the Instagram ask ask a question thing, and I typed in there, "Are you and PD Brown best friends?" <laughs> and then he replied the video, and he's like, "If I had him right here, I would <laughs> beat him down." <laughs> it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I think I mean we we know how the when, when they get in there, they're enemies, but. At the end of the night, they're probably chugging down Fiji waters and playing Twister. But yeah. <clears throat> that'll be a conversation for when we have PD on the show. We'll, we'll talk Fiji water and Red PG. Bulls or whatever PD drinks nowadays. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Red Bull's a good – I think that's his main thing. He's a Red Bull guy. Weighing in a uh, hundred and cans of Red Bull or something. So <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. they – Maybe we can have a. Maybe uh, we could play the part of the peacemaker and have a uh, PD oh. and Stone on the same night and be like, "Okay, guys, oh. we're sick and tired. That's going back and forth. You're gonna shake his hand. You guys are gonna become best friends. Stone, you're leaving yeah. the program, and you're gonna be PD's best friend." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, or PD joins the program. I don't what either of the two. <laughs> yeah, they'll have to yeah, negotiate. I mean, you know, I did kind of think about that and um, seeing PD in the program sure could work, but mm -hmm. I don't I I don't foresee it in the near future. PD going heel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, I've only seen him heel once ever, and that was just like a a steal the main show at Panaprog days, but that wasn't really televised, so he could probably do anything that night. So. Yeah, yeah, that's so. the only time I've ever seen it. He's a party guy. He doesn't want to be a bad guy, a party pooper. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I mean, I did ask uh, uh, a long time ago on Facebook. I asked P. I said, well, how about you and the system team up? He's like, never say never. <laughs> so, I'm oh, just yeah. thinking, I mean, outside mm -hmm. the box that if uh, – I thought for sure when PD said that he was going to have a mystery partner that was going to be the system, but it turned mm -hmm. out being some Jacob Savage, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like about Zoom is you can't see any comments that are being made. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can start. Yeah, I have Facebook pulled up right here. Uh, uh, Peak. King says, evening, fellas. How's it going, Pete? Hey, Pete. And then uh, Paul Lintz. Uh, oh, shoot, what is he? He's the, the below zero announcer. He says, sorry, all out of creed. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you better burn some, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, Stone will not appear on your show. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and, and me and Jaren will see to that, Paul, that he doesn't appear on your show. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I'm a top it, 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 right now. It, it, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to, we're going to have to get Kyle Pro on the show and see if we can uh, take over on uh, 
Stone's uh, contract there and get him yeah. the right <laughs> stuff that he needs, make him a happy person. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. We got the, the big money deals, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're taking over the business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, P. King says A -W APW on the way. Ooh. Stone Hedge and AP and APW. That might be interesting. Oh, yeah. Have you ever thought about maybe a Stone Hedge versus a Rhino match? No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was thinking be, about that both. the other night too, and I, I was like, should I ask them who would win a match between him and Rhino? But then I figured we'd be talking about it till five thirty in the morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm getting new people join in. I'm just want to let new people know that are coming on. Uh, we had to reschedule Kid Cash for Monday, so we just wanted to add that in there again. Yeah. In case, yeah. It's on Instagram. I I can't label it until I've actually published the video, so don't want to mm. confuse anybody. Yeah, yeah for, for sure. And I might as well go ahead and let people know that in the month of May, we're going to be doing a micro mini, all micro wrestlers, uh, mm -hmm. just for something different and something fun to do. So be watching mm -hmm. for any announcements or any guests. I talked to one guy about it and he was like, well, you'll have to let me know when. And I'm like, I've all got that schedule done with the dates and stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'd be kind of, should start contacting some. <coughs> it would be pretty interesting. Yeah, because, I mean, we got almost a month and a half to do it. So, hopefully, someone will bite on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. I'm getting comments right here. Uh, uh, my good friend uh, Carter says, uh, no worries about Kid Cash. You guys are always doing a great job with these podcasts. And we appreciate Thank that, Carter. You. We appreciate it very much, Carter. Keep watching, and uh, Kid Cash will be with us on Monday. Mm -hmm. And then he said, uh, also a nice job with the Scott Hall tribute. Thanks. We we appreciate that. We put in a lot of work and effort into that. Um, but um, just so that everyone who's watching out there right now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and speak a little bit on, on this. Um, oh. Uh, ho hold on for a minute, Jaren. I'm getting a phone call here. Oh, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, hold up a second. But yeah, more shows coming in the future for sure. Hmm. Uh, all right, I guess we gotta wait a second. I, can, I guess I can show someone something on Facebook. All right. Oh, there we go. You all good? Uh oh. Not the audio. Yeah, your audio is out right now. Oh, you are? Okay. That I used up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, what happened to the audio? 
Uh, hold up a second, people. I'm having issues over here. You and I. All right. Oh, you're still, what is going on here? Yeah, your audio is still out. Oh, technical difficulty, guys. Someone else join Instagram. All right. Oh, we got a heat on here. <clears throat> We're trying to fix something right now. We'll get back to our our update show in a second. Oh. Hmm. All right, uh, keep hanging in there, guys. We're almost there. Still not working. Uh, wait, can you hear me at all? Uh oh, oh, it's connecting now. Wait, can you hear me now? No, uh oh. Yeah, we just got more viewers on. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> All right, I think he's going to come back in a second. I'll answer some stuff. Uh, a he, this is a an indie talk with Jesse and Jaron, an update show. We had the reschedule ECW WWE legend, the Kid Cash for Monday. So we're gonna have him on Monday, and hopefully, I think that should go pretty good. He's been talking with Jesse a lot, and I think he seems Kid Cash seems like a, a good guy. So I think it'll be cool to talk to him and. He's faced all the greats of um, AJ Styles, uh, James Storm, Chris Harris, uh, Austin Aries, and many more. He had uh, he worked for a whole week in WCW before WWE bought him in 2001. And then he went to TNA after that for a few years. Total impact, you know, total nonstop action. AKA now is uh, Impact Wrestling. So it'd definitely be interesting to see. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, okay, yeah. Who was that guy talking smack? Darius Jones. Oh, here we go. Hopefully he's back on now. Oh, can you hear me now, Jesse? All right, I think I got it now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, everyone, about that. Um, yeah. Anyway, I was, I was just talking this random stuff while you were gone. Yeah. So, who was the guy that was stating on the Scott Hall show again? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. My friend Carter was saying that we had an awesome job with the Scott Hall tribute show. 
Well, th- thanks, Carter. We appreciate that. Make sure you tune in on Monday night. We, like I said before, um, Kid Cash will will be with us on Monday night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he also commented a few more things. Uh, who was that guy talking smack, Darius Jones? Uh, he was talking a lot of smack, don't you think, Jesse? I think so. He was uh, more or less uh, calling out um, Rampage yeah. Santana. Yeah. And uh, this uh, Darius Jones, he's in the EFED world, uh, which mm-hmm. is uh, more or less make believe that you're a wrestler and you cut promos on different people. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know where this is gonna go. If uh, it's gonna come out of anything, or if uh, Rampage will invite him to get <laughs> in the ring with him, but mm-hmm. we'll, we'll see. I mean, it, it kind of got out of hand that night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean, he is a trained pro wrestler, so I mean, he could he could wrestle, but I don't know if he wants to right now. He just just wanted to boil some tension around with the uh, rampage Santana. So yeah, I don't, I, I don't, do I don't, yeah. I don't think it worked. <laughs> I don't think. It, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, he was, he was calling out me and I was like, why are you calling on me so much? And then he's like, uh, he's talking so much stuff. And then I was like, well, I, I do have a good friend by the name of the Phenomenal Figures. Maybe you've heard of him. I might have to have him go after him sometime. So <laughs> might have to see. Then after that, he was gone. He he, he left. We I Man. we haven't heard nothing from him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish someone would quiet. ask. Uh, I wish someone would ask questions about uh, Jerry Ulrich's, um infatuation with cream cheese <laughs> yeah cream cheese yeah for other for people that don't know we had a wrestler on here by the name of jerry allricker jerry is obsessed with cream cheese and that is why uh he he a few months ago kidnapped the system right at his house and we were we were super shocked we had put wanted posters up for him and everything but then a few days later, he did give him back because he was at the next MEW show. But yep. he's an unpredictable, yeah. creepy dude. <laughs> yeah. Johnny mm-hmm. Oxwell claims up and down after he told me I had to buy him a bagel of cream cheese and he left me alone. Then he told me and you, <laughs> I didn't buy that man nothing. I didn't buy <laughs> yeah, not until he comes after him. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. well. Just so yeah. that Johnny Oxbow knows if he's watching that uh, Jerry yeah. Jerry didn't appreciate the comments and you heard his feelings. Don't talk about his, his uh, cream cheese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Never talk about his cream cheese. Um. Oh, Carter's asking. Well, well, Darius Jones be coming back soon. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, I <laughs> um, this guy that's asking these questions, what what's up with it, and why why that that man was a menace. He he was harassing uh, me and Jaron for no reason, and poor Santana it was just minding his own business and got called out for no reason. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so will Darius yeah. Jones be on the show? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, yeah, I think he was talking about having his whole family to come attack us sometime too. So I don't know if I don't know if he even needed yeah. that out here. <laughs> well, I'm gonna lock my doors. I mean it's bad, it's bad enough to have Jerry Allricker come into your home and kidnap you. Yeah. I don't want I don't want Darius Jones family coming after me. Yeah, the uh, the Azul family, they're much into goth and horror stuff. So I don't know if I need that in my life right now. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll uh, say no, I don't. I may have to start making a garlic necklace so when his family does come and hold it up, say get out of here. 
<laughs> get out of here. Pull the crops up. Uh, yeah. Be gone. Be gone. Uh, uh, Sprinkle mm. some holy water on them. <laughs> I think they need some holy water. Yeah. And the, the guy we had before that, what, what was his name again? I think it was. His, I think it was his alter ego oh, or yeah, something. Yeah. Well, I don't think that guy knew if he was coming or going. He had so many alter egos on there. And yeah. then he disappeared. So. And then he, and we had that cryptic message on there. And I was like, what was going on there? So Yeah, that, yeah uh, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, so, very weird. To answer the question, I don't know if Darius will come back on or not. Um, he mm -hmm. may, he may not, as long as he can settle down and follow the rules. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even want to answer our questions. He was just like, you're a dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's calling you names, calling me names, and I still mm -hmm. want to know who this Levi guy is. <laughs> yeah, Levi. <Call> some <laughs> Levi jeans for all we know. Yeah, Levi Jeans. We were saying yeah. said you got a friend named Levi Jeans or something. <laughs> well, he called you Mophead. <laughs> yeah, Mophead. <laughs> yeah. That was disrespectful. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, then he mentioned that one guy, Ryan, then he paused for a while, and then I was like, Seacrest? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that, one, that, you know? one I'll, that one I'll give him. That that was actually pretty funny because <laughs> he was tongue-tied. He, 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 didn't know, he didn't know what to say. But if, yeah. <laughs> if you want to go back and watch them shows, uh, to anyone that missed that show that night, go ahead. Uh, I think mm -hmm. we have it somewhere. <laughs> yeah. It's on the video sections of Instagram. I, I wish I could link it up somehow, but Instagram doesn't let me. But it is also on Facebook on my profile, Jaron Peel. The profile picture is uh, me with a fist uh, in front of a ring. And then uh, uh, the background is figures that I'm selling. So it's on the Jaron Peel site. Pretty much just scroll down. I did... I do post clips sometimes too, so you can also find that, and that also has the link on there as well. So, be a lot of scrolling, but yeah, it's it's on both pages. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah, he was an interesting dude he to have on. An interesting character, and I I just don't know if he'll pop on again sometime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, Ahid is asking how my live streaming this uh, Zoom. I, well, actually, I just figured it out. Zoom, apparently, as I thought it was just the recording thing, but apparently we can go live on this. We were we wanted to practice tonight. Uh, well, we were going to have Kid Cash on and practice with it, but since we're doing this, decided to practice with it. And yeah, just decided to use Zoom this time. It's broadcasting to Facebook, and then I have in my phone running on Instagram right now. So it, it, more of an it, seems be, it seems to be working out really, really good, Pete. Um we mm -hmm. we prefer StreamYard, but who knows, maybe we'll eventually end up just moving to Zoom after we figure everything out and see which one we like better. But I think StreamYard mm -hmm. for now is gonna be our home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been going pretty good. Uh, Pete King says uh, Leslie has been doing a lot of bookings due to her being APW champ. And for guests at home, that is Leslie La Munieka, current All Out Pro or All Out Pro Wrestling uh, champion or women's champion. Or let me say that again. She is All <laughs> Out Pro Wrestling women's champion, and uh, we've. I mean, I did reach out to her last month to see if she would be on. It's been a while since I talked to her, and she did say maybe, but she has, she's been pretty busy, so we'll have to see what goes on with that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we, we should ask ask the viewers, who who would you all like for us to try to get on the show? Mm -hmm. If anybody is out in the comment sections, go ahead, send a comment, and we'll do our best uh, to reach out to that person. Um, yeah. 
try to be more local. We can't we can't be having like John Cena or anybody on here, unfortunately. No, we can't. We can't, we can't do that. I mean, Cena's expensive. <laughs> He's expensive. <laughs> Yeah, it was a couple thousand maybe for a podcast or something. I don't know. Do people get paid for podcasts? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I, I have no idea. Um, yeah. Well, well, next week we got Roman Reigns coming on and Paul Heyman. <laughs> <laughs> joking, oh, yeah. Guys, joking. Yeah. Don't think Roman that's Reigns. serious. <laughs> and then we got Goldberg on the next week. <laughs> Well, let's see if I can pull some strings and get uh, Kevin Nash to come on. Oh, yeah. That oh, he's easy. a money guy. He he wants money, and I I don't even yeah. have 50 cents to give him right now. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why I have like a $2 on my uh, card right now. <laughs> Both my cards. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if, if, if John Cena is out there watching, we appreciate everything you're doing. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Quit making Thank them lame you, movies. You know, <laughs> yeah, Peacemaker and Fast and Furious and everything. So, mm-hmm. yeah. He was uh, good. He's home, though. I will say that. Have you seen that movie? Daddy's uh, home. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. That was <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> he, he did pretty good, good in that. I think he should stick with the comedies. Uh, quit doing the mm-hmm. Bumblebee stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a really weird movie. I don't, I didn't really think it was that good. Uh, a lot of those just... movies were really kind of they were different, but mm. some of them were worked well, really good for him, and others were just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did a couple movies back in the day. He did Twelve Rounds One and Two, I believe, or something. Yep. yep. Or one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He also did like, a uh, a wrestling one too that was um, where he had a kid brother where he was an amateur wrestler. I forget the name of it, but he did a really good job in that one. Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. He was also in a uh, uh, oh yeah the movie Fred. Remember that movie? Uh, Fred. Oh yeah, uh, yep, 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 yep. I hate skinny dude. Yeah. <laughs> I think he like attitude adjusted him onto a couch or something. <laughs> yeah. I wanna want see movie. uh I wanna see uh John Moxley uh I wanna see them do a remake of the Flintstone movie and <laughs> Moxley <laughs> as Fred Flintstone. No, that'd oh, be God. comedy. <laughs> yeah, that would be comedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean WWE WWE invaded the jet that one time that was interesting <laughs> I remember yeah. that one I mean mm-hmm. just some of the goofy movies they come out with now uh, mm-hmm. hopefully there ain't anyone taking offense to what we're saying about the, the WWE mm-hmm. movies but yeah. it's only our opinion <laughs> some of it is kind of weird but I think it's pretty decent though I mean, mm-hmm. Triple H and the uh, and the chaperone was pretty good. Yeah, I think he had a couple uh, movies though. Um, the chaperone, and he did one where he was uh, in jail for a while. Yeah, I can't remember the name of that one. Um, he was in the movie Blade. Yep. Uh, all the the Scooby Doo movies. <laughs> He wasn't was wonder who he played. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he probably played Scooby or Scrappy or whatever. <laughs> uh or no, it was uh, a W Scooby Doo WrestleMania, so he played himself as a cartoon character. <laughs> and then they <laughs> then they had a triple H versus John Cena or something at WrestleMania. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was that movie though? Was, uh... Uh, trip. What I wonder what year that was. I think that was the same time as Chaperone, but yeah, yeah. I know he was doing a lot of movies back then. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, he's in. Oh, he's in do- documentaries, of course, but yeah, I'm not sure what year that was. So, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
but yeah yeah it's yeah well that's a good point on all wwe movies and john cena so yeah, yeah. but once again uh, people john cena will not be on the show well not unfortunately not uh Carter says, uh, what do you think about Cody Rhodes coming back to the WWE? Cody coming back to WWE? Um, um, it's like he's been gone for what, like six years? Mm-hmm. I think, only only yeah. a couple words to say. Breath of fresh air. I think a lot of people were wanting Cody to come back, but his timing just wasn't right with him starting AEW. I think mm-hmm. he got a little overworked and overwhelmed in AEW, and McMahon won mm-hmm. them back, so the timing was right. So it, mm-hmm. <clears throat> good to see him back, and hopefully he will uh, get a title run. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, they, and it's kind of interesting because Roman Reigns is going on uh, two years as – champion um i'd like to see a program with um uh Mm. cody and roman have cody take the title and maybe have paul Heyman turn on roman and kind of guide cody's career kind of like an arm anderson thing without the gun gesture (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. that was anderson <laughs> For Arn to do that, that was about the dumbest thing because then that was more or less promoting violence. Oh, look at me. I, I carry a gun with me. What's yeah, that sound? What's that sound uh, a 14-year-old? Oh, he does it, so I can do it too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Walking yeah. around school doing that. <laughs> Can't be doing that. I was surprised yeah, so, at the boy club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, mm-hmm. any kids that are out there watching this, don't mimic what they do. Otherwise, we'll have yeah. to send Stonehenge after you. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's gonna start clubbing you in the back and like mm-hmm. pile drive. Or he said he, he was gonna do that one rest or your uh, power bomb or triple power bomb him off the top rope to the steel floor or something. <laughs> I think he was talking about the bullet Bronson. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I think poor bullet. I'll get that. Poor, poor bullet always gets gets the uh, picked on. Mm. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't he's, think he's been. I don't think he's been harassed on Facebook anymore. I know he had an issue. He had an uh, issue with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about that for a while, so I I hope it's good now. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't told me anything either, so I, I don't know. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, P. King says I heard Arn Anderson and his kid uh, Brock Anderson could be could be jumping ship to WWE. Uh, oh, come on, Pete. Don't I don't tell think me that. so. I don't <laughs> think that's going to happen. Well, I, I, heard, I heard the rumor, and if Pete's watching this, I heard that um, Arn Anderson and his kid, uh, Brocker, signed a contract to come work with you full-time, Pete. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. we're spreading... Uh, Fake we're news spreading wildfire now. We're, we're spreading rumors. No, oh, spread the rumors. It's just that kind of night. <laughs> mm-hmm. We should have done, on, done that on April 1st or something. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, well, maybe. It? People are saying, oh, uh, yeah, people are saying that, uh, or people are making articles, Goldberg is going to w, or AEW now. I'm like, yeah, yes. whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that too. It was like they had that picture of him that said all elite, and then I scrolled down. It's like, oh, April Fool's. It's like, are you kidding me? Yeah, a whole article about it. Well, did yeah. you see that they had a picture of Will Smith on there, all elite, after he smacked oh, Chris? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a big thing too. I'm like, oh, God. That they're gonna like, face uh, media. They're gonna be all elite. Yeah. Yeah. 
Vince mm-hmm. McMahon is probably all mad because he probably wanted that match at WrestleMania. <laughs> he probably, <laughs> yeah, they've had some interesting celebrity matches over the years. So, yeah, I think uh, the best one was Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. Mm-hmm. The mouse trap and the what was that? That boot kicker thing kicked him right in the nuts. <laughs> yeah, the ball. Like, uh, I can't forget about that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I was I was like they're recreating uh East or uh, extreme wrestling. We gotta start using these now. <laughs> yeah. There's the mouse mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what else is going on? Uh um Carter says I wish they would have brought Cody's old theme back. I mean, I guess it was a good theme, but yes, I, I kind of like the downstate right now, so yeah yeah that that one that one's a pretty good one um as long as they don't bring the stardust back i think cody will be okay but never say never yeah Mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh what else uh oh p king says mjf could be gone too just reading the articles don't hate the game lol (laughs) Jeez, Pete, Pete's kind of rating AEW for his own good there. Oh, he's taking over. <laughs> yeah. Don't get mad at us just because your company sounds like all AEW. AEW, <laughs> <laughs> AEW. Oh. Pete better think about getting on the on the network here or something. On the network, yeah. Mm-hmm. APW twenty four seven network. Twenty four seven. Oh, I I suppose we we should probably give a birthday shout out to Garrison Creed too. Oh yeah, yeah. Garris, Ohio Valley wrestler Garrison Creed's birthday today. He was on mm-hmm. our show a couple weeks ago, and hopefully mm-hmm. we'll be bringing him back too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, I just a... for, <laughs> and just for Pete, we're going to bring Horace the Psychopath on too. Oh, God. <clears throat> just Pete for you. Get on, be like, why weren't you at my show? Why you show up to our show, but not his show? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even show up to MAW. And Craig mm-hmm. was upset about that. <laughs> Craig, man. Come on. Brian and Craig. <laughs> Brian, Craig, Sager. He's all of the above. <laughs> and Rampage yep. called Johnny Knoxville, Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> Johnny Knoxville. I was like, where do you get Knoxville come from? <laughs> oh, maybe they look like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was funny how uh, Johnny came on with the little neck brace and he he really played played it really good. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can I sit by you next time, Craig? No. Craig, no. <laughs> right at ringside. Craig, no. Craig and Johnny are going to be best friends. They're going to be eating cream cheese sandwiches together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. While, that Brian, while Brian's good. tripping Jerry. <laughs> while he's tripping Jerry. Yeah. One after the other. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I have mm-hmm. to believe that. Uh, Brian Brian was telling us that he can be a little bit of a klutz at time. I I, I think Brian, I think it was Craig that really tripped him, not Brian. I think it was Craig. Craig Sager, why would he do such a thing? Craig Sager can be an evil guy. He's an evil. Not Brian. He might seem like a nice guy. Yeah. I said, said, Brian's a Brian's an upstanding guy, but I don't know about that, Craig. I think he's a little rascal. <laughs> oh yeah. We should yeah, we should say that the system. We you should be a fan of Brian, but hate Craig. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he did call uh, Craig, he did call Craig uh, a snake in the grass. Mm, oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Craig is evil menace. <laughs> you know, we might have to get Craig on here. We've had Brian on here. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll, we'll have to we'll have to book that 
Maybe have a system and uh, Craig go one on one. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> mm -hmm. I heard Craig Sager was a, a a wrestler back in the day, so maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, may, maybe maybe I don't know who you'll be seeing tomorrow night, Brian or Craig. I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. We'll yeah. Have, I think. Oh. Yeah, he's <laughs> definitely going to be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Carter all asks, uh, will, will you guys be making a YouTube channel to upload these videos on? I know the measurements for profile pics and wall banners. Just let me know. Uh, we've thought about it, but I'm, I, um, yeah, we haven't fully decided we, anything. Yet. We haven't really discussed that. And that's a good question, Carter. Um, I know we mm -hmm. talked about doing something with Apple where, where people don't want to watch the videos. They can listen to them. I mean, mm -hmm. we're not saying yes and we're not saying no. You're just going to have to stay tuned and, and see. Um, but, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, YouTube would be, would be something. That might be mm -hmm. something to think about. Yeah. I mean, it would be... Well, I don't think you can do live YouTube videos. It would be a good place just to have everything organized for the show or something. But yeah. right now, it's on my profile and numerous Facebook groups. So. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. That's why you got to watch it live, man. Come on, I guess. Yeah, come <laughs> on. Stone, I mean, I think uh, our numbers were up Wednesday night when Stonehenge was on. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, a lot of people coming yeah. in, going, leaving, coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like 35 comments on there, too. But that was pretty insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, what else is going on? Uh, P oh, P. King says, get your lawyers involved when you bring on Horace. Uh oh, <laughs> I, I don't have a lawyer, Pete. Uh, I might have oh. Tony Benucci uh, represent me. Get Tony as oh, a yeah. lawyer. I'm, oh, I'm gonna yeah. have to talk to the system and see who his lawyer is. <laughs> oh, yeah, who's the system's lawyer? We might have to get I, something there. I, I heard uh, Horace is locked up right now, <laughs> not in jail, <laughs> not in jail, somewhere else, <laughs> somewhere mm -hmm. else. Joking yeah. if you're watching this, Horace. We're just having fun. <laughs> mm, yeah. But uh well actually I knew I know a wrestler who has the gimmick of a lawyer. Maybe he's trustworthy. He's CPA. He's wrestled on Iron Art Pro Wrestling. I might have to talk to him. Yeah, we, yeah, we <laughs> may have, yeah, we may have to talk to him. I mean, we now I mean we're we're going worldwide. We're gonna need some kind of a reputation to somebody mm -hmm. to watch our back uh <laughs> may, maybe we can uh get uh the mascot out of tennessee cocky <laughs> ah, cocky man <laughs> yeah. oh they yeah. his, his people probably want won't want want him uh being on the show <laughs> yeah yeah that's true we probably get we probably get sued by wwe Oh God, yeah, not WWE. Vince McMahon's just gonna appear out of nowhere. <laughs> You're the Vince, Vince will probably want one on the show and be like, "I'm taking over your guys' show." I'm this is over. indie talk with Vince and Shane now. <laughs> Vince and Shane. <laughs> oh man, I mean, he was already he was already breaking uh pat mcafee set or something that apparently he didn't know how to work the mic or something <laughs> so i don't know if we need them on here yeah He's uh, like, I, I think we'll i think we'll keep uh mcmahon's name out out of our mouth <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah vince i mean he did win a match at wrestlemania at 76 years old so that's pretty good yeah with the help of Austin Theory, but I mean, he did he did win, but yeah, <laughs> he had to teach, he had to teach Austin a lesson. Just uh, mm -hmm. Theory just didn't get the job done. So yeah. Grandpa Vince to the rescue. <laughs> Grandpa Vince, oh man, those 
I was like, those Coles lines are interesting, but I think Pat McAfee sold them pretty good. So that's that was probably the main thing. I yeah. think uh, McAfee, if he was able to put some time in the PC um, and put in mm-hmm. the work, I think he'd be more entertaining to watch. Mm-hmm. And he does have a heck of a punk kick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, former football player. Um, what, was was he on the Dallas Cowboys or another team? Indianapolis Colts. Oh, the Colts. Oh, yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, he's definitely got an athletic background. And I didn't think he looked like it because he just, just doesn't seem like it. But when he – and when he gets in the ring, he's definitely got it. So, yeah. Well, next Wednesday, we have Pat McAfee on the show. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We're going to talk to Pat, man. We should, well, no, we should ask him if we can, if he can be on, or if we can be on his show sometime. And then oh, we'll yeah. bring him on our show. <laughs> he's got we'll, his own we'll show. Do, we'll do the old, uh, We'll uh, play the Adam Cole thing for him again. He'll be like, not oh, that God. guy again. <laughs> we'll bring Adam Cole with us. <laughs> bring, oh, bring, every, yeah, bring, bring them all. Hey, remember this guy, McAfee? Get him bring out of him. here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, P. King says, I have Judge Jess of Night Court. That's the APW tag team that has a judge lawyer gimmick or something. So, well, if, if, you know, he has, if he point. has that guy, well, we got Jerry Ulrich. Top that, Pete. We got Jerry Ulrich. <laughs> <laughs> Very qualified. That would be a good, yeah. that would be a good match. Um, Jerry Ulrich and that judge guy. Mm, yeah, that would be pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, man. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, how? Oh, it doesn't. We've been going for fifty-two minutes. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, should we talk? Should we talk about some shows going on? Um. Yeah, I got a few minutes to do it. No. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Uh. Oh, where is it again? I have it here. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I can. I wonder if Zoom will let me share my screen. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Got uh, hey, what do you know? Yeah. What part can you see? Is it? Oh, I think it's just this part. Can I? Am I able to do this? You can probably see my desktop right now, okay? Right. <laughs> uh, 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 Scooby Doo and John Cena. You just had to show that. Right yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. All right. So right here we got our right, tomorrow night, April 9th, uh, at the it is a uh, Wilmer Mania three at the Wilmer Auditoriums. Doors open at six p.m. Bell time is 7.30 p.m. We've got Rampage versus Paul Verk, Willow versus Sierra, GPA Blanco versus or versus Blanco versus Yang Mua, Cordoba, Real Dragon versus Nick Colucci and uh, WWE Superstar Hornswoggle. And we got <laughs> that'll be interesting. Uh, we got Medusa there, so that's definitely gonna be an awesome match and or awesome show. And uh, one thing, one main thing about it is, uh, it is a uh, it's a free event, guys. You better be there, guys. <laughs> so yeah, uh-huh. free event. Uh, Hornswoggle's coming after you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Hornswoggle's free though. You might have to bring money for that, like forty dollars <laughs> or something. But it's a free show overall, though. So. Just give yeah. him some uh, cabbage and some beef, and he'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, man. Uh, what else we got? I don't have it on my uh, folder right here, but I'll look it up. It's a Wisconsin show. Uh, uh, AWF Shell Shock tomorrow at April, uh, Saturday, April 9th. So if you guys want to go to either or, 
That's in uh, Shell, at the Shell Lake High School in Shell Lake, Wisconsin. Uh, proceeds go to the Shell Lake Athletic Department. It's on a, it's a live TV taping on 45 TV. Tickets, $10, uh, $7 for students. I'm guessing students for that area. So not all students, but, and then 10 and under are free. So definitely. Don't, don't forget Nick Nelson Appreciation Night. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Nick Nelson Appreciation Night with the program. They're going to. They're going to eat Gushers, drink Fiji water. They're going to do karaoke. They're going to praise Nick Nelson and everything. So, and yeah. Petey Brown is going to crash the party. That's a prediction. Just, that's a prediction. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Petey's right there. So he, he might have a party face, but he, it's always game time when he's in the ring. We got <laughs> We got Kyle right next to him, so I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I, don't know, I think there's a couple ones like a few days or a week after. Uh, let me, oh, yeah, this is coming up. Uh, Fargo, North Dakota, Time Bomb Pro Wrestling, uh, Thursday, April 21st at the Fargo Sanctuary Events Center. Uh, it's featuring the, the hardcore icon, the Sandman right there. So if you guys want to see the Sandman, you should definitely check it out. Tickets start at $10 for general admission. I believe front row is like $20 or $30. I think, I think that actually might be sold out, but maybe that applies to second row. But uh, the meet and greets prices, I believe... I think, oh, that, yeah, that was $20 because I paid 10 for a ticket and 20 for the meet and greet. So $30 <laughs> overall. I mean, I'll get be able to talk to Sandman and maybe I'll hit him with the Kendo stick on <laughs> You're going to hit, oh, that. Well, if you do that, make sure that you get it uh, recorded so we can put it on yeah. the show. <laughs> Jaren oh, beat yeah. up the thing, man. <laughs> Beat the Sandman. He he's not wrestling anymore. <laughs> no. Yep. Oh, we, we uh, might want to add to uh um the Faribault show, which is what is it, May 14th? Oh yeah, that's uh right here. Uh MAW Live, May 14th, Faribault American Legion, Fair in Mer Faribault, Minnesota. We've got Mitch Paradise, Rachel Elring, The Goon, Bob Orton, uh, Ying Mua, Cordor Cordoba. Um, Jesse, you were saying that maybe Anderson might not be there. He right? might not be there. I, I haven't, I don't got no, um, I haven't gotten any clarification. But so that everyone knows, Rinside is sold out. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think that's next, that's next week too. Is that May May thirteenth, right? May fourteenth. Okay, that's good. We're, still, we're still in April. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't want to go thinking, that far yet. I was like, oh, that's next week already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't want to. We don't want to pass up Time Bomb and MAW, the other MAW show yet. Still got to right. go to those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, April 29th, uh, good old Steel Domain Wrestling, Bloomington Event Center, Knights of Columbus. Um, all the SDW action roster will be there. Uh, three under par is finally returning after a number of months, <laughs> so I'm I'm excited for that. The three and how does it go again? Is it? I'm, I'm just going to do it this way because that's the only way I know how with three under par, you guys. <laughs> uh, it's probably one of my most uh, favorite tag team in all the Midwest. Started watching them 2017, Steel Domain, and that Under the Big Top, uh, I think a few times at M uh, MIW. So definitely a great tag team. And uh, of course, our good old boy, The System, will be there, <laughs> and Kyle Pro. Rampage Santana, so yeah, oh, we'll have to see. This Kyle Pro will be on that show, so 
Mm -hmm. Maybe we have to let the system know what uh, has been said. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I might have to. Maybe I'll ask him about that. <laughs> Kyle see. Spray, you're like, you shut your mouth, Darren. You don't you talk should. about that. <laughs> you can't talk about this. There's no <laughs> Here, here, have some feed you out there and eat your gummies. Eat your gummies. <laughs> I, I got to talk to the system here. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, Kyle, you're not that important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about this, too. Uh, April 17th, uh, uh, Rudos Promotions uh, is a, a Lucha Libre wrestling. It's going to be at the the same center as Steel Domain a week before uh, the Bloomington Event Center. It's, uh, yeah, the, the Knights of Columbus, the original and the only one, L.A. Park, former WCW superstar, is returning there. So it's going to be, I definitely want to see that L.A. Park in action, WCW legend right there. And, yeah, for and, sure. Uh, uh oh yeah, Ying Wu and, and Cordoba are gonna be there too. So that'll be pretty cool. And yeah. then a bunch of Libre guys. It's gonna be a whole new roster for me. I've never seen these guys, but it'd definitely be cool to expose myself to new wrestlings. And I've been seeing this company or posters for a while, and people have been tagging me in it. So I'll finally be able to go on April 17th. So yeah, I'm very excited for that. Mm -hmm. It's uh oh yeah, thirty yeah, take uh tickets thirty dollars, kids fifteen. Uh at the door is uh let's see. It says five dollars plus. Is that oh I think it's thirty-five dollars at the door. So oh, try to get those pre-pay tickets before. Yeah, it is a little bit of a spendier event, but yeah. But I mean, I mean, I think it's worth it for at least this time when LA Park's going to be there. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, what park? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he yeah. Now he's just going by La Park. <laughs> La Park, Mister La Park. Oh yeah, yeah. I wanted to. I know this is in a on a few months, uh, but. Uh, uh, WWE SmackDown is coming back to the Target Center Friday, June 17th, and I believe tickets just went on sale today, so check out Target Center site or, uh, or yeah, I think Target Center on Facebook. Get your SmackDown tickets. I'm, I'm working on getting mine, so that'll be definitely awesome to have uh, WWE back in uh, Minnesota again. Don't don't so. contact Vince McMahon because he's not giving you free tickets. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I'll, I'll see if he's there at the show and I'll talk about having him on the podcast sometime. <laughs> hey, that'll work, but yeah. he, he's, he's going to have to sign a, a, a waiver saying that he can't take <laughs> over the show. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to have some good old paperwork and sit down with him. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm And uh I know Roman's on the poster, but it kind of sounds like he might be injured. So I don't I don't know what's if he's gonna be there or not. Something with his elbow, I don't know. Uh, yeah. He hasn't enough, he didn't like vacate the title yet, so I don't I hope he's no. I hope he's there. I want to support the tribal chief. <laughs> yeah, the head of the table, man. <laughs> yeah, and not the wise man and the Usos and yeah. the wise man. <laughs> the wise man. Oh, yeah, he's man. wise, all right. Yeah, he's wise. Yeah, he gets beat up by Brock Lesnar here and there, but he's wise. <laughs> yeah. Well, mm -hmm. PB Brown, PB Brown still owes uh, Roman a beating, so maybe. Oh, maybe he'll uh, be there that night too, working as security guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watson, you remember me? <laughs> oh, I remember <laughs> you. You remember, remember this? <laughs> remember this? Yeah. 
Well, I guarantee well, Roman probably won't remember him, but then Petey will be like, oh, after this beating, you will. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll yeah. remember who I am. Oh, I yeah. friends with me this time. Yeah. <laughs> the system's going to be there. And... <laughs> Newsflash. <laughs> Indie wrestlers beat up the tribal chief, kidnap Heyman. Getting that Gary Ulrich or kidnaps Heyman. Gary Ulrich or kidnaps Heyman. <laughs> and then oh, the man. system and Kyle Pearl become new tag team champions. <laughs> oh, yeah. They beat the Usos that same night. <laughs> oh, man. And then in a few months after Roman's recovered, it will be PD Brown versus Roman for the undisputed championship of the world. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah that's, that's all the recent shows. I'll once it gets closer, I'll show the other June shows. But I just really wanted to show SmackDown for June because that is a that's a big thing, and tickets will definitely go fast. So yeah, yeah get them while they last. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I think we're all caught up with everything. So Monday night we will have Kid Cash on the show um it's gonna be a nine o'clock start so it'll be eight o'clock is time but we're gonna start it at nine so mm-hmm. i'll be yeah. in touch with them on monday again so, okay yeah okay. yeah and also well i'll do it off camera but uh or yeah i want to talk to you one thing after camera but we'll do our end things right now that has been Indie talk with Jesse and Jaron, just pretty much an update show talking about Kid Cash, WWE, indie wrestling, and uh, cream cheese and everything. <laughs> yeah, and we even but we yeah. even got interviewed by viewers tonight. So good night. Mm-hmm. Good night. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Thanks, thanks everyone for tuning in, and thanks for the questions and. We'll, we'll try not to cancel these shows so so many so many times, but tonight was unfortunate. But I think we made up for it. Mm, yeah. Well, I think I just realized that in order to end this, I have to end the entire meeting. So I guess I'll text you in a second. So. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. It, it may take me a little bit to answer you. So, but I'll answer you regardless. So yeah, just text me when you're done. So. Okay. All yeah, right, yeah. sounds good. So, all right, we'll talk in a bit then. All righty. Live right. is ending. All right. Uh.